Uh, this is my first tutorial ever, so please bear with me. Uh, if things go well, I plan on eventually doing uh, a road to action game in which I will show everyone how to build an action game from scratch using UDK uh, and Unreal, Unreal Scripting, UDK and Blender to build a fully uh, fledged action game um, in UDK for mobile, um, which, it, which is what I'm currently doing. Um, so... Uh, today's tutorial will cover how to get a skeletal mesh from Blender into UDK and how to also export its animations so we could have an anim, uh, an anim set set up for it. So here's my model. Here's my skeletal mesh. First things first, you should already know how to uh, how to work skeletal meshes and everything else in Blender because I'm just going to go over how to export them. So I already have my skeletal mesh set up for me. I already have animations working. The one thing I will cover, though, is how I do my animations in Blender, because there's multiple ways. Uh, for me, under the Animation tab, uh, I go over here. If you hold the middle mouse button after clicking in this little area, you could drag it right, right and left to different tabs. Well, I make sure that I'm in my Action Editor most of the time, because using my Action Editor... Uh, in Blender, I make every different action an individual animation. So, for example, right now, I'm in the run action, which me means that this is my run animation. These are my frames. Uh, and each little dot here is an individual uh, bones uh, transformed during that frame. So, and if I scroll here, you can see my run animation. If I press play... It'll just play the run animation I'm building. All right? So this animation is 30 frames. So at the zero, goes from zero to 30. Make sure the end is at the last frame. You don't want to have extra frames being scattered around because uh, some of the time they will get exported into UDK and you don't want that. So just make sure you go from zero to whatever frame you go. And also, for some reason, later we started at one. I like to start at zero. That's just me, though. Um, so uh, I'm just going to rewind to here. Uh, make sure your skeletal mesh is selected and then you double press A to select the rest of the model because uh, this model is broken up into different meshes. So I just make sure to select everything, but like you want the last thing selected to be the skeleton mesh, the main highlight. Also, make sure that you remove any lights, lamps, cameras out of uh, out of this layer. Your layers are right here. Um, to move them, you select what you want to move. You right-click it, you press M, and then you pick the layer you want to move it to. Um, if you hold Shift, you could um, select multiple things at once. Uh, for example... Uh, when I'm animating, I make sure I have my character scythe with him, so you know I know where it's going to be positioned in the game. But when I'm exporting, I make sure to close that layer so I don't accidentally export the scythe with the character because it's a different export. Right, so I have the character selected. I have his skeleton mesh selected. I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX. If it's not on this list, you go to your Preferences. You go to input, no, you go to add-ons, you go to import, export, and it should be right here. And it's going to be grayed out, so you just check it. If it's not here, it's going to be somewhere in this list. You just look for import, export, Autodesk, FBX. You make sure it's selected, X out. So then, um, yet again, select the skeletal mesh, double A, everything selected, file, export, FBX. Now, uh, one of the things you're going to notice is uh, for my settings here, uh, you want to click Select Objects, Armature and Mesh. Uh, you, you're, you know, you're holding shift. Just make sure that these two are selected because uh, you don't want cameras or lamps to accidentally be exported in, ca in case you selected them by accident because I'm only going to export stuff that's selected. If this is not checked, then may try, try to export more stuff that's in the scene. Which is just, you know, precautions to not export too much. I'm going to click only deformed bones because my character uses an IK rig. And some of his bones are in deform. Um, which are used just, you know, just to help uh, animate a lot easier. Um, if I weren't using only deformed bones, I'd be exporting close to 170 bones. Right now I'm only exporting 60, 66 or 68, I think. Uh, you don't want to have include animations. All actions are default take checked. Uh, I'll go over that. 
the reason is that when you export an animation, you want to export them individually, one animation at a time. Um, because there's a lot of tuning that happens in, UDK, in, in the UDK side. And if you just dump a whole bunch of animations, uh, you know, some of them may not work well. Uh, and even if all of them do work, um, the way that Blender works is that each action is an animation, right? At least the way I'm running it. Well, for some reason in Blender, you can't remove actions once they're created. But some of these are just empty animations or like if I select this one, it's just going to throw the character out of whack. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to move through the timeline because it literally throw the character out of whack, and you know I don't want those animations being exported, so I export one at a time, um, and it kind of just helps. You know, you want to do things precisely when building your game, so you don't want to mess. Uh, and I also show another good reason to export animations one at a time. So I'm just gonna only deform bones up to my ski frames. You want your armature, you want your mesh. You're gonna name it F, uh, gameplay model, gameplay model, export. All right, cool. So now I'm going to open up UDK. Um, while I work, I like to use the Unreal X editor. Uh, this guy builds like his own editor. I mean, uh, it's it's no Visual Studio, but it's uh, it's one of the best things you could have while working with UDK because Unreal Script doesn't have an IDE. Um, you know, there's a lot of custom made ones, including this one. There's another one. Uh, there's a couple other ones on the forums that you could find. This is just my preference. Uh, because of things like this, you know, if I press F5, it'll just run my game, uh, like in Visual Studios, uh, depending on the level you give it. And there's just settings like that that I love. If I press F6, it'll compile my scripts and then run my game, which is awesome. Uh, then I have my editor right here. I'm just going to open up my editor. And now we're inside UDK. Uh, so this is the content browser. Um, you know, uh, when you build your game, it's going to start building packages. So right now, this is the current package I have for my game. Uh, as you can see, I already have my main skeleton mesh set up. If it doesn't open up right away when you double click it, that means that it's right here. It's just minimized. Um, so that's him in the content browser. If you notice, he already has everything set up. He has his materials attached to him. Uh, I have some other extra stuff that I could eventually go over. Um, and I have his animation set. And like just like in just like in Blender, uh, I have all my actions right here in the list. You know, uh, I could play each individual action individually. Uh, you know, and it's just stuff like that that really. You want to keep this neat, you know. So, let's import what we just exported. I'm just going to do this. And now I'm going to go to my desktop, which is where I exported my model. It's right here. Uh, it's gameplay model. I'm going to drag it into here. Um, so the package is going to be untitled for now because I'm not going to save this. Grouping, uh, like usually I like to group things, so I'm just going to make it skeletal meshes. The name, so like, because uh, I already have one named gameplay model, um, this this will work, but I just don't want to mix them up, so I'm just going to call it Nick after the character. Skeletal. All right, uh, okay, for your settings, uh, if the import type doesn't say skeletal mesh right away, that means you did it wrong, so you'll have to go back and just make sure that everything's correct first. Uh, one second. Okay, cool. I'll just double check something. Um, now, um, I don't import animations. I do that on the side. Uh, make sure two West reference post is checked because if it's not checked, you're going to run into issues. And I'm going to show you those issues. So I'm going to uncheck it. Uh, you want to preserve smoothing groups, everything else. I just kind of leave like this. Um, you could import your materials and textures if they're already a part of your folders. And if not, you're going to have to do that manually, uh, which I can cover in a different video. Which is it's it's not a lot it's not a lot of stuff. Um, you're gonna get that warning. You're just gonna press OK. Now, uh, so it's under Untitled. So he's right here. Uh, the package name is Untitled. So he's right here. Now remember the uh, use to as reference post that I unchecked. If you don't have that checked, this is gonna happen. The character's model is not gonna be properly aligned with the rig because of the Blender dimensions. Like the X, Y, Z dimensions don't align properly with uh, EDKs, and it moves the uh, the mesh to a different location than the skeletal mesh. 
uh, which causes it when I attach it to an animation to really deform everything and throw it out of whack. So to fix that, uh, all we have to do is re-import it. And this time you want to use, check this, you press OK, press OK. Um, oops, I forgot to rename it properly. Um, so it's skeletal. I think I named it. Hold on. I think I typed that in wrong. Yeah, skeletal. My bad. Uh, so skeletal meshes. Nick underscore skeletal. Hopefully, I typed that one in right. Uh, and again, again, make sure 2s reference point is checked. Uh, you press OK for this warning. That's just a Blender TDK warning. Nope. Whatever. I'm just going to delete this one, I guess. Uh, you know, if you're overriding, you want to make sure the name is right. Um, but yeah, here you go. And if you notice, his rig is properly attached. So now we have the character exporter properly. Uh, for the materials, you just place them here. No, I uh, just set them up in UDK and just drag and drop them here. Okay, cool. Uh, so for individual animations, so I go back to my character. If I want to export the run animation, I'll select that action. Whoops. And that's what you don't want to export all the animations because that, that, that will happen with some animations because there's different, uh, if you have different objects um, and you try to save out a different action, it'll try to make an action for them too. And... If you try to apply that action to this skeletal mesh, it'll just throw everything out of whack. So I have my run action selected. I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, and now just include a, uh, animation, and that'll export that action. You don't want to put all actions because then it'll export that, that entire list of actions. You just want the currently selected animation. So then I just uh, I append the name of the animation. So, uh, so whoops. Um, so instead of just gameplay model, gameplay model underscore run, it'll append it. And then we go here, back to our content browser. We're going to right click, new anim set. It's going to be Nick anim set. Uh, I'm going to press OK. And now we have an anim set for our character. Uh, over here, it's going to be mesh, skeletal mesh. It's asking you which skeletal mesh does this atom set correlate to. I'm going to go to find Nick skeletal mesh. So we have Nick right here. And then we go to atom. Um, and that's pertaining to this animation set, which is right here. See, like, that's the name. We could see different ones because this is the atom set editor, so we don't have to stay here to this one. But it'll, like, if you double click it, it'll open up that one, which is this one. So, like, so right now, if you can see, we have zero animations, like root. Our, uh, my main game, um, my game's main character has 45 animations right now. So right now this one has zero. So we're gonna go to File, Import FBX Animation, and we're gonna import or run animation. It's gonna give you that warning. You press OK, and now we have one animation, which is a 31 frame run. And you just press play. If you click here, you can loop it. And just like that, our anim set now has an animation. Um, and just to show you that you can export different ones, I'm going to do Light Attack 3. Which you just, I, I don't know if the scythe is going to be properly attached here. Hold on. It's, 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 it's off, but that's... That's just, just due, um, due to different iterations. I'm just going to export Jump. Um, so the jump animation, I'm going to select it, make sure scythe is not in that scene, or your weapon, or whatever you're using. Um, and then we have jump, and export, go back to your anim set file, import FBX animation, import jump, press OK, and now our character can jump. Uh, it's going to look a little wacky here, but if you'll notice, like, after it's all coded and everything, um, 
you could get it to look good. Actually, I don't, I don't even think that's the right jump animation that I'm using here. It's just a jump animation. Uh, yeah, I'm using falling. So it would be this one. So just like when he's in the air. That animation was more like like before he jumped, like a prep animation, which I took out. Uh, just because it would take too long uh, before he would jump, which I didn't like. So, you know, we have different animations. So, like, if we want to export this one, we just export. Um, instead of jump, I'm going to call this one falling. Oops. Atom sets. FBX. Falling. Now we have our full on animation. If you make a mistake with the frames, and let's say, for example, like your animation ends here, but after he, uh, let's say it ends here at this point, but like from here to here, like he's just frozen in time, or like he'll like do a weird motion, you could scroll up to where you want to. You right click here and remove after current position. It will remove all the frames after that position. Before it'll do the same thing but opposite. So you know you can remove everything after that position and it'll cut that part of the animation. In this case, that was a bad thing. Uh, otherwise, it would be good. One thing you don't want to do is uh, you want to be careful when using that because it'll be permanent and. If you want to fix it again, you'll have to re-import. Um, it'll ask you something. Just press yes tool, and there you go. Um, another way to just make sure that doesn't happen is you want to save your package. Uh, because UDK doesn't save anything that you're doing here until you right-click here. Into, in the content browser, right-click save, and it'll save. Well, once you save here, it, it won't just save the animation set, it'll save the skeleton mesh as well. Uh, so once you save here, it becomes permanent, all, all the actions. Uh, but the nice thing, like, you know, if you make a mistake while working, you can just close everything, reopen it up, and it'll bring you to the last save of your package. Uh, so yeah, that's everything that's uh, needed for for importing, oh, for exporting and importing an uh, FBX skeletal mesh from Blender into UDK. This one's a little bit messed up just because I grabbed a random one out of my files. Um, you know, if you do everything right, you reset everything up properly, you'll notice that he'll be... Oops. Uh, that all his animations will be proper and all that stuff. Oh, this is the wrong Adam said to go to root. There you go. And, you know, he'll be working as he's supposed to. Uh, this animation starts here. There you go. Backward jump. Um, in some animations, you'll see that you could do... That's called root motion, which you would set up here. Uh, and it's an animation technique. Uh, which I can go over in a different tutorial. But as to importing and exporting from Blender to UDK, uh, that's all that we have here. If you like my tutorials, please leave a comment uh, in the comment section of my uh, video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, complaints, feedback, anything, just please. Uh, and if you like my idea of making a, a Road to Action game, please let me know and I'll get it started. Uh, thanks again. This has been Knox over in.